Hello everyone, Electronic Gore. Um, I'm back at it again with more unboxing videos. I haven't done a proper one in quite a little while. And what I have for you all today, uh, I mean for me, it's it's mine. It's not yours, you can't have it. But what I have in this box today is a Teddy Ruxpin. Now I'm not sure which generation he is, but he does come with his original box. So I'm very excited to unbox him today. And we'll see which generation he is once I get him out of here. <laughs> I got him for a decent price. I'm hoping he's well packaged in here. I'm not sure how big the actual Teddy Ruxpin box is compared to this box here. There we go. Oh, it looks like there is a bubble wrap in here. That's a good sign. It's bubble wrap and paper. Nice. Oh boy. I can see his box in there. I've always... I've always wanted to own a Teddy Ruxpin in the box. This is so cool. It's in pretty nice shape, I think. All right, I'm gonna lift him out now. Uh-oh. Uh, the back of it's kind of coming off. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness, there he is. Oh, he looks so soft. I can't wait to get him out. I still can't tell which gen he is. He's got to be either a gen one or two because I just looked uh, in his mouth here. Whoa! I picked up the box and it collapsed. You see? Yeah. I'll have to do something about that. Oh my goodness. Hi! Oh! Oh, he's adorable! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and I didn't realize it came with three books here. Ooh! Oh, they didn't put- they didn't show this tape in the listing. Teddy Rexman's birthday. And in here- I have another- I have another copy of this already. But I don't think I have this book, and I definitely don't have this tape. I have a Grubby's Romance tape, but it's uh, it's not working. It comes with a copy of the airship as well, and I'll have to, um, I'll have to tape this box or glue it or something, because this is um, like coming off. Oh boy, it's a nice uh, shape overall, though. I want to see our boy Teddy here, though. Oh my goodness, his arms are folded because of how long he's been in that box. Oh, he is soft. Oh, he's not very good at standing up, is he? Maybe I can get him to lean against the box a bit here. Yeah, that sort of works. Oh, but he's so cute. And I believe this is a rubber nose. But we're gonna have to take a look at the back to see which generation he is. He's in super nice shape. He feels super clean and, and soft and all. Alright. Let's turn him around here. Oh, he's still got that little plastic tab in him, too. All right, Grubby's romance tape in here. I want to be careful opening this door. Oh, oh, and it looks like he is a Gen One. That's cool. That that'll be my second Gen One. Oh, was he chewing the tape? Oh, that's not good. I'll have to uh, clean up his tape head. I did um, I did bring some stuff for that. I'm gonna take a look at his pinch roller because I reckon it might have a pretty hefty dent in it. Huh. Yeah, it does have a dent in it. It's not it's not the worst I've seen. I might have to end up having to replace it. But it looks like he is uh the version of Teddy Ruxpin uh Gen 1 without the little tape sensor switch here. My other one does have that in this empty hole. There's a, a whole nother switch. Oh wow, it is quite dirty there, isn't it? it? It's quite yellow on the tip of the Q-tip there. You can barely see though. Uh, that's been drying out for a good couple minutes, so I think we're safe to go ahead and test him now. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and use my copy of the airship since, since I know it, know it works. And if he's going to chew the tape, uh, despite the fact that I just cleaned his tape heads, I'd rather <laughs> use one that's a little bit less hard to find. So let's get his uh, his batteries in here. And that is nice and clean. It's quite shiny. The listing said that he works, but we're going to see for ourselves in just a second here. Alright, he's all ready to go. 
I also brushed him out a minute ago, so you can see he's in really lovely shape. Also, he's got a huge wingspan. I don't think I've ever seen such long arms on a teddy before. Um, but yeah, let's see how uh, he's working. Oh, we got a slow boy. Oh, wow. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? I really enjoy talking to people. I would like you to meet some of my other friends. Oh, my goodness. Too. We're going to have lots of good times together. Now, listen to this sound. That sound reminds you to open the... Okay, ignoring the fact that he's got the deepest voice in the world, um, his servos are super quiet for a Gen 1. They're, they're moving in quite an unusual way, though. They feel kind of stiff. Like, I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. He's so adorable. Remember, turn the page. So it seems like the dent in his pinch roller isn't too bad. But wow, he's he's playing super slow. He's just moving in such an unusual way. That is, well, I, I love him, but wow. I don't know what's up with his uh, his mouth movement. It, it just looks a little bit weird to me. But he is working, like the listing said, so that's great. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the condition of his box, and his overall condition is great. He's super soft. Uh, again, I'm not sure if he's playing slower because of the like the speed adjustment is off or if his belts have worn down in some way. I I really don't know what's up with him. I guess I'll have to figure that out at some point, but I'm not going to be taking him apart today. So here he is. I, I, I've nicknamed this one Quiche. Um, I, I give all my Teddy Ruxpin's silly little nicknames uh, just because if I'm going to have multiple of the same kind of Teddy, I might as well. He is super soft. His His mouth is really silky soft too. I love him, oh my goodness. Um, I want to grab my other Gen 1 teddy. So, this other guy I have here, I, I've nicknamed, nicknamed him Shrimp uh, because I think it's cute. He's got very big round ears, as you can see here. Uh, this guy's also a Gen 1, but he is the earlier model. Uh, he's a Hong Kong model. And he does have the, the switch in his cassette player. But I noticed- oops. The box fell down. I noticed uh, this guy, Quiche here, has a- has a bit of a larger nose and it's much different shaped than his. Uh, shrimp also has a much squishier nose than his. This is a very squishy and shinier nose. And his is more matte and not, and it feels a lot more rubbery. Shrimp's is almost like foam. Wow. I really love this guy. I'll have to make more videos of him soon. Oh wait, real quick, I forgot I was going to also test the tape that he came with. So I'm going to do that real quick, uh, but we're going to have to listen to them in slow motion, I suppose. I'm going to start with Grubby's Romance, because I've been meaning to get a working copy of this tape for a while. <laughs> It'd be great if it worked. That was a loud car in the background there. Ah. All right. <laughs> the fire's almost hot enough for us to lift off now. Okay, gimmick. We'll start loading the supplies. We didn't know it then, but someone else was very interested in what we were doing. It was the evil Tweak. <gasps> the evil Tweak. Okay, so that 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 um that tape sounds fine thus far. Um um, I'm starting to think that the weirdness of the mouth animation mostly was just because of the airship tape. I actually realized 
that the airship tape does have quite stiff mouth motion uh, uh, when compared to later tapes. But yeah, um, <laughs> he, he works amazing besides being a bit slow. So I'm gonna hope that this whole tape is good because I've had a couple tapes where like some of the tape sounds great and the rest of it is just terribly distorted. Future Cricket here. Um, unfortunately, both of these tapes are exactly like what I just described. So, um, yeah. And I'd like to, to listen to a bit of Teddy Ruxpin's birthday now. Oh, that is so cute. You can hear. That's a long note. On that long note there, you can you can hear sort of the pinch roller uh, skipping along there. But, oh yes, I'm very happy with this guy. Oh wow. So, uh, uh, thank you all for watching this video. I, I hope to make more Teddy Ruxpin content in the future, um, as well as more Furby videos, which I, I haven't done in ages. Kind of on that Teddy Ruxpin high right now, so I might have more Teddy Ruxpin and Worlds of Wonder videos coming soon. Uh, for now, uh, goodbye. I, I hope you enjoyed this video of Little Quiche here.